Mission one is called A Long Day in Dunwall. And what's interesting about this is this illustration here, uh, most of the loading screens are just illustrations in this game. And you saw that some of the cutscenes were illustrations at the very beginning there, which I like. And um, I'm going to give my comments on them. I think they're pretty great. And I love the illustration style of this game. More art, the better. But I think what's cool is that this place is Holger Square from the first game. You don't actually visit that place in this game, but it's interesting that they bring it back for this loading screen just to show a view of the sitting as it's going on. Holger Square, the Office of the High Overseer. Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. One thing that I kind of distaste is that there's so much camera smear and like imprinting on the camera at times. You really only notice it in low light environments, but it can be a little obnoxious. That being said, I do like it in moderation. I think it's cool. Old history textbook. Emily. Uh huh. Uh huh. What would my old governess say? Callista would probably tell me to sit up straight and to marry Wyman. She'd ask me when the War of the Four Crowns ended. 1625. Yeah, Callista from the first game stayed on board as the main governess of Emily Caldwin as she was growing up. She's not in this game. A lot of the characters from Dishonored 1, part of the Loyalist Conspiracy, are not in this game, oddly. Um, I think there's some offhanded lore book or developer interview that explains what happened to them. I don't remember what happened to Callista, I'm going to safely assume she retired? I'm hoping, anyways. Oh, yeah. Custis, Morgan, and the Postulate Child. Look at these three assholes. Painting collection's still a thing. I absolutely adore it. Although I do have some comments to make on the paintings. Specifically, what they look like now compared to the reused paintings from the old game. Oh, and let me establish the keyhole peak now has an animation. It used to just fade to black in Dishonored 1, but now you put your hands up to it and look. I've got to get out of Dunwall. I've got to get away. I should talk to the captain of that ship. The Dreadful Whale. Some lady named Megan Foster needed to speak to Corvo yesterday, but she never got met. I'm gonna do a quick save here. What do I have to do to help my father? What do I have to become? Oh, yes. Drop down onto an enemy, and they now added a non lethal drop attack. This is very nice. It makes being non lethal a lot more fun. Check this out. There you go. He just bashed his head into the concrete. I'm not fit for the watch uniform. Seems kind of violent still, but it's 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 really nice. I like that being non-lethal is way easier in this game. The city is crawling with the Duke's men. Listen up, I have bad news. Ramsey's missing. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Emily Caldwin has apparently fled the tower. We've got to find her. That's it. You've got your orders. Spread out and find the fugitive. We're in this with the Duke of Circano sink or swim. There's no way to turn back now. Oh, oops. I want to point out that they now added a fun little addition to the leaning system. And that is you can now lean over. You can lean over cover to look directly ahead, which I really the adore. Former Empress Emily Caldwin has been accused of high crimes against the state. Anyone caught harboring her is equally guilty of treason. I want you in place just after the Duke and our new Empress make their appearance. Things will happen fast. This so-called crown killer is the last dinner guest you want in your home. Mortimer Ramsey. Yeah. 
<laughs> this is a fairly violent coup, isn't it? Ooh, okay. The detection system from the first game remains relatively unchanged. Uh, although it's not a three lightning bolt system, it's one lightning bolt that fills up with different colors. See it twice. Please turn around. Huh? Whoa. I'm gonna assume that guy turned around. Another welcome addition from the first game, in terms of the non-lethal system. You can now choke people out, if they're surprised, from the front or from the side. You just kind of uh, manipulate them around so that they're always facing your back. Uh, with a bit of a grapple maneuver. And that is so welcome, because one of the main complaints with the chokeout system in Dishonored 1 was that you could really only do it from a perfect angle behind them. Oh dear. Hold on, wait. So, this game is just a lot more convenient and easier to play and get your hands around. One last thing. I want to go into my options. Master volume can be a little louder. Visuals. Field of view set to 90 still. H bow, whatever that is. Bloom, no. Camera motion blur. Oh, wait. Bloom, yes. Depth of field, lens flare. Alright, that's everything. It saved the settings from my other playthrough, which is good. Oh, excuse me. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Turn you around. And... Hey! That's Emily Caldwin! Oh, shit. There we go. There. Whoa, shoot! No <laughs> mercy! <sighs> And that is very fun. Now you don't have to like run away or reload a save when you get caught and you want to stay non-lethal. You can fight non-lethally, like your Jackie Chan. Just punching people out left and right. Gotta say, it is one of the best improvements between game titles that I've seen. Yep. At least for specific systems. You can knock people out by throwing bottles at their heads when they're unaware of you. Oh, 
And I picked up a little statue. Kiela, sorry you missed us. I'll be taking the children away from Dunwall earlier than expected. A few weeks before the upcoming anniversary of Empress Jessamine's death. Things are about to get bad, and I'm not just talking about the Crown Killer. Besides, there's profit to be made bringing new silver miners down south. So arrangements must be made. Ha, for now. One of the things that is so unfortunate to realize is that once this coup has happened, you see how many people were in on it. I mean, not just the guards and the Duke of Circonos, but a couple of aristocrats up in Dunwall who live in this district. Hmm? Oh, shoot. Oh, a chopped up fish. Oh, it's that painting from the first game of Lady Boyle. Where's the Z key? There it is. Nice butt. I'm hungry. There we go. I'll try to stay mostly non-lethal, but I'll do my best to show off all the cool little stabbing animations. Besides, there are plenty of people in this game that deserve to be stabbed. I lived in Dunwall most of my life, surviving even the dreaded rat plague 15 years ago. This is Dr. Galvani's journal. I remember people fighting and killing each other for an half-empty elixir flask. I dealt with housebreakers repeatedly back then, and ultimately decided to sell my house at Clavering in favor of a more secure location. Surely I won't be disturbed anymore living so close to Dunwall Tower. On some days, I've even seen the Empress riding by in a carriage. Once already, I thought I spied the Royal Protector on a nearby rooftop. So I feel safer now. I have less space here, but should still be able to conduct my experiments without fear of the loss of any, inex uh, any expensive lab equipment or the funding my work so dearly depends upon. Dr. Galvani from the first game moved because he was robbed. Robbed by who? Corvo. He canonically robbed Dr. Galvani. The obtuse arguments of Lady Boyle. Oh. I mean, come on now. Come on, Galvani. It's hilarious. I freaking adore it. Galvani just can't stop getting robbed. Wanted crown killer. I love the illustration that they use for the crown killer. It's really cool. This kind of sketch with that hooded single eye. Of course, part of this game is finding out who the crown killer is. And I'm very enjoyative of that. I'm making up words. I'm very adorative of that level. First of her name. Further, the former empress, Emily Caldwin, is now wanted for treason. Any of you found harboring Emily Caldwin will be fined and arrested. People of Dunwall, stay in your homes. I advise to stay indoors during this time of unrest. I didn't mean to do that. It worked though. My family and I moved here three years ago. The biggest mistake we ever made. Yeah. So it's a coup. The Caldwins have finally fallen. Never thought I'd see the day. It seems so, and even the legendary Corvo Atano couldn't stop it. There's money to be made on this, mark my words. You seem chuffed and happy. What if it all goes to pieces? Sometimes these things end with people like us face down on an executioner's block. I'll be fine, I assure you. My grandmother turned a profit on the plague, and I'll come out ahead under the Duke of Circonos and our new Empress. I doubt I can help you, whatever you want. What's this? 
You've come this far with me, Beasley. Don't get clammy feet now. Delilah is our rightful empress, or will be soon, I promise. The Duke will make sure we're properly compensated for our part in orchestrating this little coup. I have men across the city watch, and let's just say certain stubborn Emily Caldwin supporters are being arrested even as I pen this note. The Duke will be bringing over a hundred from the Grand Guard. Now do your part, and shred this note as soon as you've read it. Put it down the toilet! Captain Ramsey's been so industrious, but I need a ship. They ran off. That's a certain element that they added to this game. There are a lot more civilians and bystanders in levels. Um, sometimes they can be very finicky. Oh, wow. And I'll bring it up when I can. But they don't act the same way as guards do in terms of detection, and it gets kind of annoying. Yep. to keep watch over a place where someone was just gutted, even if it was an ass like Ichabod Boyle. Oh, man. I hope the crown killer doesn't come back. Nasty business. Killing Ichabod Boyle like that. Delicious stuff. Emily has the same voracious appetite that her father has. Laura, don't tell me my business. My family's been at this game for a long time. Several friends working on similar pamphlets aimed at further turning public opinion against Emily Caldwin and her cursed royal protector. Lord Bramley is calling her bastard daughter. <laughs> yes, I know she's the Empress, but eventually she'll bow under the weight that will bring down upon her. First the gentry here in Dunwall, then the Parliament. By early next month, look for these works plastered on the walls here in the capital city. Uh-huh. Ichabod Boyle. As far as I can tell, it's never outright stated that he was part of the coup. He might have literally just been a concerned citizen who criticized Emily's reign. That being said, that got him killed by the crown killer. Ugh. Pistol. You stock up on pistol bullets quick in this game. Like Dishonored 1, you don't really get a lot of chances to use a pistol. Oh! Are you? He's a little dazed. Ow! Yeah! Yeah! Whew. Glad the sound didn't carry through the wall. There are guards right outside. Is that... Ichabod Boyle. Another victim of the Crown Killer just days ago in Dunwall. got close to the windows, that's when Mr. Boyle started screaming like a slaughtered pig. There was someone wearing a hooded cloak, I swear. I think he was eating up Mr. Boyle's guts. That's got to be the crown killer, I told myself, and so I ran as fast as I could to the nearest watch post to help. Anyone would have done the same after what I'd been through. You guys have, should have some respect. Okay. Yeah. Crown killer is not exactly subtle, whoever they are. Oh, hold on. I messed up a slide there. Whee! I like that. The sliding in this game, very kinetic feeling, as opposed to the first game where it just kind of felt odd. <gasps> I'll help you look around. Hmm? Uh oh. I'll check around here. I think somebody saw one of the bodies. 
just in case. Be on your guard, right, boys? Hmm. Mattress landing. Now, I haven't had much trouble progressing through this level so far, but I'd like to point out that this first level is not very good. It's literally just a street. It's very easy to get detected by some random guy just walking around on the street, and the only reason why I'm doing so well is because I've played through it multiple times. Um, well, not multiple times. One time, and I kept getting caught, so I had to keep restarting from a checkpoint. It's frustrating. I would say that the first and last level of this game are really bad. I mean, I like the part that was indoors uh, in Dunwall Tower. That was quite fun. And there's some merit in this level. I mean, it probably looks pretty great so far. But Dunwall, t or Dunwall 2, Dishonored 2 has a bit of a problem that reoccurs throughout basically the entire game and that is it feels less consistent than Dishonored 1 and I don't mean consistent in terms of like level quality also you probably noticed a frame drop there that's a bit of a thing that this game always has don't worry about it I mean inconsistent in terms of how enemies see you and detect you throughout the level it is kind of terrible Dishonored 1, after a, a bit of play, you could easily tell what the boundaries of an enemy's sight lines are. Uh, what he can see through, what he normally doesn't see you through, like a certain gap in a line of boxes he can't see you through. Dishonored 2, I cannot for the life of me tell you how far away an enemy can see, or how far to the side of their vision that they can see, how well they can hear. There's a setting for this, but it's so vague, and it doesn't go into the individual senses of the enemy for the custom difficulty. And it is overall just... Dishonored 1, I played through pretty flawlessly. There weren't many times in the long play Let's Play where I, like, got caught and had to restart a save. I died. There were plenty of skips, but... Um, this cursed city. Where are you, Corvo Atano? <laughs> Dishonored 2 just feels like it doesn't really stay consistent with how detectable you are. In a stealth game, that's really important. The old man's been carried off to who knows where, and I'm out of money for any more operations. Just great. Lady. You want to hear what I've got to say. I guarantee it. Lady Emily, you won't get far with that face. Stamped on half the coins in the city. There's a coup underway and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. I don't care what my face looks like. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours, Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary down in the south. And I came to warn you. I know, Anton, but Corvo's gone. The Duke of Serkonos is here with a woman named Delilah. They massacred everyone in the throne room. Then she did something I can't explain. There was nothing to do but run. Sometimes that's all you can do. This is my ship, the Dreadful Whale. We can head out as soon as you're ready. I need to get to Karnaka where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while and I've got to figure out what's going on. You're Corvo's daughter. I'll give you that. Should we go? Yep, yeah, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. And here is the... I really like this. A welcome improvement to the end of mission review that Dunwall... Ah, I keep saying Dunwall... That Dishonored 1 had. Uh, it even gives you a little, like, stat chart here. Stealth and non-lethal versus lethal and assault. Uh, here are the little actions and special actions. Collects, uh, totals up all the coins you found, all the paintings you collected, blueprints, bone charms, shrines, and runes, 
And special actions. I love this page. Took what gold you could carry from the Dunwall Tower safe room, robbed the safe of Dr. Galvani, and uh, locked Mortimer Ramsey in the safe room with a fortune of gold and a month's worth of food and water. All right. Now, who you met back there was Megan Foster. She has got to be one of my favorite characters in the game, and I have no good way of explaining why. I just really like Megan Foster. <laughs> And you'll see more of her throughout the game. She's going to be here the whole time. Here comes a strange visit. Am I still aboard Megan's ship? It feels odd. Somehow Delilah turned my father to stone. I will find a way. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The city is crawling with the Duke's men. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Emily Caldwin has apparently fled the tower. We've got to find her. Lady, you want to hear what I've got to say. 